Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Stuart. Missy. And Missy, what is it today? Friday. No, it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> it's Saturday. It's Saturday. Our schedule's all out of whack. Yeah. Anyway, we're here in Quebec City, Quebec, and we're carrying on the fine tradition of Fish and Ship Friday on a Saturday. <laughs> and we're here. That's why I thought it was Friday. We're here at Phil's Fish and Ship. And don't ask me where it is, because I have no idea. The GPS just took me here. It's like 20 minutes away from where we're staying. Yeah. Anyway, cue up the music, and we're going inside. <laughs> All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Uh, we're here in Quebec City, and we're at Phil's Fish and Chip Place, having some fish and chips on a Saturday. It's not really Friday, but what the heck? We're going to have fish and chips, because we have to have fish and chips once in Quebec City before we head home. OK, now we know how to do it. You come in, you wait in the line, order your dinner, and then they give you a table. That's how it works. She just got it. I said you just got it. You just got it. What's annoying? Who's annoying? How am I annoying? Excuse me. What happened? Can you please give me some strength? Done. All right, so here's how you do it. You come here, you walk in, you order. So we got the two with the, uh, no, we didn't get the two piece. So we got a regular, which is haddock and a beer. Never had seen this one before, a McTavish. So it's an American pale ale. Uh, let's see where it's brewed from. It's Schwinnigan, so somewhat local. Yeah, so you come in and you order and then they uh, tell you where to, well, you say, I like to sit outside or inside. You, and they look at the table and they find the table and you go there, you sit, and then they, <laughs> they bring oh it up. <laughs> That's what you sounded. Have you been? Uh, have you been told today, Missy? Told much. How much I love you. <laughs> anyway, so we're here, at Phil's in uh, Quebec City, and we're waiting for our uh, fish and chips. It advertises English-style fish and chips, so we'll see just how good they are, and then we'll score at the end if it's a hit or a miss. If you can find this in the stores, get it because it's pretty good. Mm, interesting. Oh. That's huge. <laughs> That's what she said. Huh? Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, so this is gonna be the first fish and chip place. It is the first fish and chip place that we've been on to as part of this channel where they actually bring the fish out in paper and simulate newspaper. Pretty unique, interesting uh, approach. I don't know if anybody, I'm not sure if anyone in New Brunswick does that. That we, That I've heard of anyways. It uh, looks really, really interesting. Look how big it is. You know, it's funny, she, that's what she said when she first saw me. That's kind of a PG show, folks. No coleslaw review tonight. Say that again? No coleslaw review tonight. Well, that's right, there's no coleslaw. Mm. Oh, where did we go also that had no coleslaw? The place in Bracebridge had no coleslaw. They had a salad instead. Yeah, this looks like a classic fish and chips. Okay. It looks really yummy. Let's get this all ready to go here. And they also have mayonnaise for the fries. I find a lot of... Uh, French people like mayonnaise on their fries. Kind of like the Dutch. The Dutch do the same thing. Must be a European thing. I like mayonnaise on my fries too, but not with fish and chips. Okay, so nice piece of nice oh, it's a huge piece of fish. Let's see how it tastes. Hmm. Hot. Oh good. Hot and good. Oh my lord, that was really good. This is the best one yet. Oh really? 
You're making that call already? Mm-hmm. And the, and the tartar sauce is fantastic. Now, the only way I can describe it, it doesn't appear to be from a jar or those little packages you get. This appears to be like really like homemade because it's got a texture that's unlike all the other ones that I've had. So it's, I'm gonna guess that they make it in house. I don't know that for sure, but it appears to be that way. That's how I like my batter. How, how do you like your batter? Explain that a bit better. I like it crispy. What a big time. That was gonna be my only complaint. <laughs> that I am not a crispy, crunchy batter type guy. Other than that, it's fantastic. That's the only little, and it's just a minor thing. I'm just not a crispy batter type of guy. Like the, um, the ones we got at, um, in Dorchester or Ponzi's, a bit better. Not as much crunch, but this is good. Don't get me wrong, this is, this is wonderful. Just, I'm just not, a, I'm eating the fish instead of the batter because it, not a big, I don't really eat so much of the crunchy batter. And the, um, and the chips are, um, are fresh cut, not not uh, frozen, so they're super yummy too. All right, so let's get done with the nitty gritty. How much does it cost? Now, this has to be like one of the more expensive fish and chip places I've been to. Uh, I think I think it equals about in cost to the same place we went to in Alma that one time for lunch. Two uh, regular fish and chips. Now they don't do it by pieces, like two piece or one piece, like some of the other places we go to. They do it by small and large. So we had the regular, which is the large. Two pieces, um, two fish and chip dinners, forty-two dollars and fifty cents. So a little bit on the higher side, price-wise, compared to some of the other places we went to. Again, I pay. I would pay good money. I would pay the money, good money for the food that we had here. Really, really good. With my beer, eight fifty. Now the tax-wise, two fifty-five for GST and five hundred nine for their Quebec provincial sales tax. That equals out to be probably the same as what we pay in New Brunswick for tax-wise, approximately. So just under sixty bucks. And I think, well, I had a beer. I had a beer, so I'd, I'd you know, add another, not eight fifty into that. So, so not bad. Uh, a little bit, on high, a little bit on the higher pricer side, but pricier side, but really, really good. Missy, would you happen to agree? My favorite one out of all the ones we had. That's my favorite one. It was so good. So you put this ahead of Ponzi's? Everyone ahead of everyone, everyone. Everyone. <laughs> this one is the best. Say it any other way. This one was so, so good. And it's because it was crispy. Well, I, I, I put it up there in the top two. It's uh, at the same, at par with Ponzi's for sure. Ponzi's and this one, like neck and neck with each other. I like Ponzi's just, I mean, I've, I'm not going to drive seven hours to come fish and chips. <laughs> so I'll go to Ponzi's in Bactouche. And, but this one was, oh my God, that's so good. Yeah, highly recommend. Phil's Fish and Chips here in Quebec City, if you're driving through, definitely a stop for sure. Stop the presses. Missy just said something that totally floored me. I'm gonna flip it over to her and she can tell you herself because I can't repeat it. A little bit dramatic there. <laughs> All I said was it's better than churros. The Fish and Chips were better than the ones we had at Murphy's in Truro, Nova Scotia. Is that what you're telling us? Yes, my personal preference, like I said, for the batter was this way, the way it was, all crispy and... Oh my God, so good. Well, there you go, folks. The queen has spoken. <laughs> Phil's Fish and Chips, hands down, in her opinion, the number one fish and chip place that she's ever eaten at. I would put it in my top three for sure. And again, my top three is very, very slim margins. Murphy's, Ponzi's, this one. But they're so close together, like it's like a fraction of a hair between all three of them. At the, they're all good. I think, Missy, if you wanna you know, get down to brass tacks, mm -hmm. having fish and chips delivered in paper, it's just an added touch. Yeah. I think that presentation is what I think separates this from a lot of other places because the other ones are just coming to give it on a plate and there you go. Yeah. And they load it up with fries. Yeah. These the, ones had just the, amount, the great balance of fries and fish. This one had more fish than fries. There you have it. I didn't say that. I just said I don't have to be on camera every time I talk. You can still, they can still hear me. Can you do that thing with your finger again? What thing is that? <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't get that. Do it again. Her Italian is coming out. All right, we're done here. I gotta finish my beer 
and then we're gonna head back to the Airbnb and uh, pack up the car and get ready for our trip back to New Brunswick tomorrow. All right, well, that was, that was a remarkable, remarkable dinner here at Phil's Fish and Chips here in uh, Quebec City. Just Google the address, I'm sure you'll find it. We'll see if we can find it and put a map right here. Bunk. All right, so the, the real test now comes to the beautiful and oh. gorgeous oh. Missy. With my short bangs, stop it. There's nothing wrong with your bangs. That car went, and you're standing in the middle. No, it doesn't. And you're standing in the middle. And you're standing in the middle of the road. Sitting there the whole time. Okay. Anyway, I'm gonna definitely score it a hit. What do you score? Huge hit. Huge, huge. Oh, well, look, look! The car just drove by. You were blocking traffic. <sighs> and a huge hit. There's our fish and chip review for Phil's Fish and Chips here in Quebec City. I'm Stuart. Yell. I'm Missy. And thanks for uh, tuning in to Out and About and our fish and chip uh, playlist. Uh, if you like our fish and chip reviews, they're kind of comic, comedy kind of focused. They're not real professional. So that one individual says, hey, can you be a little bit more professional? This is about as professional as it gets, folks. Missy and I are doing this because we love to just act like a fool sometimes. And we love to eat. So uh, if you like the way we act, like, comment, and subscribe, leave a comment and all that good stuff. And we'll see you in our next video from New Brunswick because we're heading back to New Brunswick tomorrow after this whirlwind of a trip. See you all later.